New Orleans is the crown jewel city settled atop the great Mississippi River Delta. Although its unique heritage and history are beyond dispute, its future remains unclear. Ten years after the devastation brought by Hurricane Katrina, major achievements have been made. However, there is still great need to improve the resilience of New Orleans and its coastal neighbors. Levees alone are not enough to protect our communities. Every hour, Louisiana continues to lose one football field of wetlands critical to natural storm defenses. A first step towards restoration of these wetlands was the closure of the Mississippi River Gulf Outlet, a man-made navigation channel. During Katrina, the MRGO funneled storm surge into New Orleans and St. Bernard Parish. Yeah, starting around 1958, the Corps of Engineers began to, to dig what became the Mississippi River Gulf Outlet Channel, the MRGO. So this channel uh, was initially dug to 500 feet wide and 40 feet deep, but over time the banks eroded. There's places now where the channel is uh, 2,000 feet, almost a half mile wide. With less wetlands and more open water, the MRGO acted as a funnel during Hurricane Katrina and delivered a deadly blow to all that was in its path. The levees constructed to contain the MRGO didn't stand a chance. And of course those uh, levees were severely impacted by the water in the channel, by the waves across the channel, and it's those levees that were decimated in Katrina and flooded St. Bernard Parish. The MRGO also played a role in the flooding of the Lower Ninth Ward in New Orleans. This channel, it goes all the way 40 miles that direction, takes a little left turn, and goes into the Industrial Canal, which is in this, basically the heart of New Orleans. And of course, it's that Industrial Canal that had catastrophic failures, uh, where the flood walls failed and flooded communities like the, the Ninth Ward community in New Orleans. In 2007, the Corps of Engineers closed the MRGO to all ship traffic. A rock structure was built to close the channel and a 1.8 mile surge barrier was constructed to help prevent flooding. This would help to restore the natural hydrology of the area and open the door to restoration of the affected wetlands. Restoration of wetlands due to the MRGO is not so much about righting the past wrong of the MRGO, although that's certainly justified. It's about rebuilding a sustainable wetlands and this wetland buffer that acts as a one of the multiple lines of defense to protect cities like New Orleans. The Bayou Bienvenue Wetland Triangle is a degraded bald cypress swamp just north of the Lower Ninth Ward. Over the past 50 years, human activity such as building and maintaining the MRGO has caused the swamp and surrounding ecosystem to erode. But this wetland here has always been here since I was a kid. You know, we came here fish, poach, catch crawfish and all that. When they cut the Mississippi River Gulf outlet in and they finished it in 65, salt water came up into this part. All this was a live, beautiful cypress swamp. In 65, when they opened the Mississippi River Gulf outlet, this slowly started dying away. Seeking environmental justice, the residents of the Lower Ninth Ward have banded together to advocate for the restoration of the Triangle and protect their community. Through outstanding public engagement, the Triangle is a prominent feature in both the U.S. Army Corps and Louisiana State plans for restoration. There is an amazing understanding and awareness here, um, and that's why they're able to come back and they're already, you know, considered by many to be one of the most, um, you know, sustainable neighborhoods in the country, post Katrina. They need to know that wetlands in bad shape is a problem to them. If they are put back to where nature intends them to be, they would do the job that nature intends it to do, is to protect you against surges of water and wind. If you don't fix it, the same thing gonna happen. If the wetlands are not fixed, they're not restored. The same category storm hit in the same place, the same thing gonna happen. Although great progress has been made in all aspects of storm protection for greater New Orleans, much remains to be done. Without healthy wetlands, the city of New Orleans and numerous coastal communities remain very vulnerable to disasters. Urgent funding is needed for restoration. Right now, you can make a difference in the future of New Orleans and other coastal communities. Learn more at www.mississippiriverdelta.org.